Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is my GTI server Alpha 7. So, basically the second season of the GTI server and episode 2. Last episode we ran around, got a little bit of resources and ransacked a POI and multi-tool down a bunch of stuff on it, got enough stuff together to be able to spawn a HV and what I did is I ran back down into the lake and kind of hid on this island here there is one little critter that kind of walks around but he's not aggressive but he's got a I'll go f he's one of those little uh, rhinoceros you know with the big horn sticking out of their head beetles yeah there he is He's my buddy, Horny. He's got the big horn sticking out of his head, so, you know. That's what I call him. So, today, I know I said that I was going to build a platform and have all that ready, but I think what I want to do is, I'm not going to do a lot of base building the series, so I think the first one should be... I'm just going to show you the basics of it. What I did is I prepped a bunch of stuff too. Uh, not a lot, just your basics. And I built myself a base starter out of the core that I had. It only takes a core to build. Uh, and what I had out of stone, I was able to make 279 concrete blocks. So that's going to give me enough of a pad and some walls around me to potentially protect myself when the drones come. Uh, and give enough space to to spawn my HV, which is ready to go now. So my hover box is ready to spawn. I just got to You can see it's not going to let me do it until I put down a a base. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take this base starter and we're going to sink it down into the water. I know it's going to take a little bit extra material to bring my base up, but trust me this is a really good way of burying the core and preventing stuff from attacking your core. So what I'm going to do is I want it to actually go deeper so I'm going to use the page down and I'm going to actually spawn it so it's just barely uh, I won't be able to so it's just just barely visible oh, come on come on just oh, too much come on just 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 come on <laughs> okay good enough so there we go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put blocks on that right away and start building this up and around so I'll try and sink down some blocks into the corners here first. Come on. Oh, you're there. Come on. Getting blocks are all the way around it is pretty critical too, because then it really hides it. And it creates a, um, a more stable foundation too, when you have everything, every inch of the bottom surface covered by dirt it's uh, it translates through up all the way up through the wall so you need to have a good foundation so it's always a good practice don't leave like for example I could put this here and then if you see down here it's not all the way and if I show you this uh, let's do the debug to show the structural integrity and I gotta move that out of the way come on Let's uh, close that. So you can see how the color is different on that cube there, right? It's just slightly darker. That's because it didn't get any structural integrity because the bottom of it, the whole entire surface of the bottom, or at least the bulk of it, isn't touching dirt. Even though a large portion of it is. See that? It's just that little chunk down there does not have structural integrity and it throws off the whole thing. So what we can do is if we can put a block in there now and you'll see there it goes full structural integrity 
always make sure you have that on your bottom blocks. It'll pay dividends when you start building. Okay, why can't I play? Oh, uh, huh? Come on. Oh, I was actually viewing a little bit of a thing about building in water. You get this double funky. Um, oh, and see, okay, so they're just taking a while for the instructional integrity to show up. So what I want to do is I don't have to. This is going to be the tower that goes all the way up. Okay, it is going to be. Okay, there we go. Let's fill that in. Fill that in. So at the very top of this is going to be like a cannon turret. So it's going to be quite a few stories up, though. So we'll just. Oh, what? Oh, that's some weird. Okay. So the refraction from the water caused some causes a little bit of well it just makes it invisible on the bottom of it so it doesn't taper properly okay whatever okay and then we're going to continue this across all the way And what I can do is I can go under here and, and put a couple blocks here and there. So you can see right there, it doesn't have, that's about the darkest spot. So I'm going to put a block there, which has structural integrity. And now that actually, see this, the blocks around it immediately went lighter. So that's how you keep your structural integrity throughout a large st structure. You, you need to just keep putting in support blocks. And then you can then you can maintain it. So, okay, I think I'll stretch it out this way. So this will be a kind of a um, hmm, let's didn't want let me do it as long far as I wanted. And so you can you can have collapses too if you don't if you're not careful so you got to be careful not to put too many blocks up before supporting it Let's see for some reason it that down there oh yeah there it goes I was gonna say why didn't it get structurally supported it looks like it has okay so it's getting kind of dark there see that so what I'm gonna do here because I'm still coming out with it. I don't care what it looks like down below. I don't really care. I'm not this is not for beauty. This is a survival base. And you can see how the structural integrity of that one block pressed expanded out to the blocks around it, which is exactly what I'm trying to accomplish. And just keep going with this. And keep going. We're starting to get into a resource issue. I'm going to have to dig up some rocks. So that means once I spawn this HV, we're going to take it out and mine right away. Because so I'm going to need more stone. Okay, so that needs some support right there. So let's pull that right down. I'll call them right into the dirt. And you can see once that kicks in, come on, there we go. So it's much easier to build with the structural integrity tool on too. It, it gives a better visibility at night too. It's uh, it's easier to build. You just don't get the, the actual full appreciation of what it looks like that you're doing, right? Because it's all just colored blocks. Okay, so I want to expand this out more. So let's start using C, the control, and come out. And we will put some supports in where it's having some troubles. Pull that right down into the dirt. 
and right down into the dirt. Okay. And then you can see the red parts completely disappeared and so that's good. Okay, and then so how wide is this here? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want it to be nine at least to fit a to fit a uh, seven by five door in. So do I move these? And build out here more probably is not the better or you know what no I can just well that's the shooting tower though hmm I want to continue that up yeah so let's let's get my guy out of the way let's get him up onto it here so we'll put my jetpack on get up onto my platform I could probably spawn my HV right now. Let's check it out. Yeah, it'll let me spawn it. Now, if I turn off the, cause see how it's a green box around it right now? Uh, I'm gonna turn off the structural integrity for, just so it doesn't look so ugly. Okay. So yeah, see that? There you go, folks. It's gonna let me, it'll let me spawn it. So do I do that now and then just so I can get away really quick if I need to? Or do I just continue to build the base, the walls, get some walls sort of up and finish off the platform area? I think the platform area is probably big enough right now. I just need to put one more strip here. So let's do that. So let's, instead of play, getting my HV out, which I don't necessarily need at this specific moment. Let's let's just pull this out. Okay, so we've got our front entrance. It's gonna be right here, let's taper this down. We'll put blocks in. Come on, one more. Come on, I saw, I saw you could do it, thank you. And then, that should be good enough. There's a tree <laughs> right in the way. I'm gonna have to cut, cut that down. Okay, so let's so we want the tower to be solid. just means more for them to shoot down through to get to the core because they're not going to shoot through the water to do it are they I don't think so but they might be able to line of sight it through the concrete I I think they can so I'm thinking right if I make it solid blocks all the way down it's going to take them forever and yeah, so that's that's basically the idea there. I might as well just wall that in. I'm just gonna wall this in here. You can see I'm getting experience for it. So we'll continue to do this. Oops. And I should be using the drone. It probably uses less food and oxygen although it doesn't really matter about oxygen on this planet but it is something to keep in mind on other planets so use your drone as much as possible okay so that will come out here and 
be like that. Then the bay door. Okay. Yep, that's going to work. I'll make it work. I'll figure it out. My starting bases are pretty organic. I don't use a uh, pre-spawn because I, I tend to like to go with the contour and what, what I have to work with for the shaping of the land and whatnot. And I find pre-spawns just don't always work the greatest for me. And I like, I like building. I like it. It's enjoyable. Okay, so let's finish the walls at least here, if we can. I don't think we can. No, we're not going to be able to, but that's okay. At least we're... Um, we'll have cover somewhat. Ugh, come on. Okay, let's zap that out. It's too low. I will be doing a second story to this with a vegetable garden on the second story. And then on the roof, we can have parking for SVs. But in the meantime, I'm out of concrete blocks. So, we are going to have to take the hover and mine. So, I think we need to go do that. And it's getting dark. Spooky. Ooh. So, I'm going to go west. I'm going to go west and follow the light. So let's spawn this. Now that we've got a platform that we know we can spawn it on, um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put any gear down on this platform. If drones come along and shoot the platform up after I've spawned my HV, it's like, oh well, that was just concrete. They're probably not gonna get down to the core. And it's in water anyway, so I think they'll, they, I just don't think they'll see it. Unless they change the AI on that, I don't think they'll see it. And that's spoiled. Damn it. I need food. So let's do that. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to bring that with me necessarily. I do want the cargo boxes. So let's... Let's... Oh, I can't... can't access that stuff. Let's get my light going here. And I'll seal in this little cavity in here too. This will be my um, my wet generator room. Okay. So I don't need water. Don't need oxygen. All I need is this paddle and this broken chair and. Yeah, really bad reference to the uh, the movie The Jerk. Okay. Cargo box. That'll give us more cargo space. And what did I not need? I didn't need that. I didn't need that. I don't need all this oxygen. I'll keep a bit on me because I need to jump in a lake. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's spawn it. We've got no food, a little bit of food, f lots of fuel, cargo, lots of biofuel. Oh, and we can make more biofuel. Um, should we do that? Where is it? No? There it is. So two, we can make two more. Eh, 13, I don't think we need to right now. I'm going to hold off on that. <coughs> let's just... Um, spawn this thing. Okay. So, hit my F1 to get in my blueprints, or to get into the, the um, this tree anyway. 
and spawn it. Here we go. Got my hover vessel. Woohoo! With where? What? Um. What? Devices, hover engines, thrusters. Okay, there's a bit of a video glitch going on. Uh. <laughs> Okay, that's just creeping me out. I need to actually fix that. So I'm what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm just gonna try try doing a soft log. So without actually killing the game, I'm just gonna disconnect from the server and I'm going to reconnect. And come on. Come on. Let's let's have my hover vessel actually working and not glitched out, please. Okay, and lights and ah, there I see. There we go. <laughs> so when in doubt, try soft log. Okay, so let's put the cargo boxes on. Drone it up. I always like using my drone for this sort of stuff. It's just easier. Uh, two big cargo boxes, I think. Have lots of cargo space. We'll stand these up. Put them there and there. Sure, we'll have the generator exposed. Everything's exposed. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna die anyway. No, I just, uh, I run away from drones in this thing. Because you can see all it has uh, is four hovers. It's a box that you sit in, literally. There's the, oh, you know what I need to do? These things are actually a little bit restrictive, I have found. So what I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pop these off. So let's disassemble. And we can recover some of those blocks too. Okay, so now I've got a whole area around my my cockpit to stand in to break line of sight and what I mean by breaking the line of sight is you'll see when I jump up here and get in see how how much higher it is than my head and I'm standing right now so I can actually oh let's jump in yeah it's not there's no there's no top to it or anything. It's not sealed, okay? This is cheap, cheap, cheap. Level 3 vehicle, okay? And it breaks line of sight. I'm going to show this to you. So, we're going to go into the control panel. Oops. Control panel. And we're going to, instead of hit fill all, we're going to go into manage because I don't necessarily want it using my biofuel. I'm not sure if they fixed it to only use fuel packs first, but... I'm going to just put this whole stack in and to fill it up. Okay, so now that we have a full tank of gas, let's go. And there we go. For some reason it had tabbed me. And why is that not... Oh, it's doing this, isn't it? Yeah. Turned everything off. So let's... Where's the on-off button? Oh, th okay. So, it's a little bit of video glitching. Um, okay. Okay, so now can I... There we go. Okay, unfortunately it's got no headlights, so this is going to be a venture into the dark, although they did, they brightened up the planet quite a bit, because I can actually see not too bad right now, not too bad at all, without any lights. I think we're still going to go west, so let's head west. We'll 
we'll see what's we'll see what's here. Get up to hover height. Uh, so it's all that stuff over there. Okay. There's the destroyed facility. I can go back and get iron. Oh, silicone, silicone, and copper. Let's go get silicone, and then we'll go get the iron, and maybe some promethium. But let's go get silicone. I'm going to show you... Oh, why did I do that? Let's mark that. Waypoint. Remove on approach. Okay. So, this thing's really unstable, and... <laughs> You gotta keep your finger close to the O to keep it from tipping over a lot. Or you just gotta be get some good price. See, there's a critter right there, an evil critter. That right there is those aggressive predators. So they're they're spawning. We're past oh and hmm. Okay, so that's actually being Obstructed by a drone over there. I don't really want to get into it with drones with this thing because it has no guns. So don't think it's protecting that silicone. It might be. I might have to kill it. Ooh, kill them. Yeah, they're protecting the other one. Yeah. Mm. They're gonna spot me and come after me. I don't know if I have the bullets right now. I need to make a mobile constructor for this thing. Or get all the bits running on the base. But, hmm. Well... I could try and take them both out. 450. I've got my pistol. I can fly in really fast. Just hit Y, F, and then jump out and run. Or use, even use my... No, because they'll go after the HV and they'll pop it and then I'm screwed. So... You know what? It's it's just a bad idea right now. Let's just do some exploring then really quick and try and discover more. So we're going to head down this lake. Lakes are really easy to travel on with an HV. It's it's awesome. It's nice and fast. And smooth and stable. We'll fly fairly close to the shore so that we can try and re 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 reveal as many uh, resources as possible. And there is a POI that looks like the drone base. Huh. That's the drone base, is it? Where's... Where am I? Okay, so they're going to be coming... Okay, they're going to level out. They're going to be down at water level when my base pops them. That's perfect. Yeah. I just fly out with my HV, collect their bits. That is going to work. That's really going to work good. Okay, uh, so the only silicone we found so far is guarded. Hmm. Uh, head north, I guess. Or let's keep traversing the lake. We're gonna get shot, though. So it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, that thing's way too close to the shore. I'm not getting close to it. Let's check up here. Pro 
meet him. Iron, okay, good. Promethium, <laughs> lots of Promethium, that's okay. Requires a lot of Promethium nowadays because lots of the ammo uses Promethium now. Copper, okay, so where's silicone? There's rocks and bits, which are good. I can smash those and pick flowers and stuff. Let's see, maybe if we find a rock bay, I'll just, a uh, rock quarry, I can do something with it. I mean, there's just a lot of singles here. Nothing really cohesive in a big group. That's going to annoy me with the with the thrusters just cranking like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the control panel. I'm going to turn the thrusters right off. Actually, you know what? I better keep those going for a sec. Let's make let's make a custom group here called engines or a custom switch control panel switch. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our devices. And we're going to auto group everything. Now that everything's auto grouped, I'm going to go into my engines, which are my hover engines. And I'm going to select engines. I'm going to select my RCSs into the engines and all the thrusters. Okay. And now when I go back to it, I can just hit this switch everything shuts off including my RCS because I don't like leaving my RCS on it wiggles your ship around when you bump your mouse okay so now all I have to do is hit F and what I'm going to do is jump a little bit to try and spawn my there's another yeah yeah I'm, okay so jump a bit spawn that and those are the brown dudes, so they're not going to aggro me anyway. I'm not going to aggro them anyway. But right now, I no, nothing has line of sight to me. So I can actually, you know, come down here and, like, pop this rock. Get resources for it. Or, now that I got my drill out, and I'm just above a silicone thing, you'll see there are little deposits down there. So let's hit those. So I'm going to switch back to resource mining. Mining can be a little bit boring in the game. They've actually made it a little bit more interesting here. Doing this dig a little tunnel, winding tunnel down through and collect the ore. It's a little kludgier on an HV. 
but the laser turrets make it okay. Like, or not laser turrets, but the laser drills, the front mounted laser drills are pretty decent with these little nuggets. So it's, it's a non-issue when you get high enough level. Pretty deep. <laughs> I've used almost, I've used a lot of a charge just to get to these. And you get more crushed stone now, it seems to, because you're going through a lot more stone to get to the nuggets. There we go. So 102 silicone. 10. Sixty-two. Oh yeah, so we're we're hauling it in now. Oh, forgot to tab out, tab in for my radar. Always remember that with your with your drone. As soon as you spawn your drone, tab out, tab in. Without the ore scanner, this is a pain in the ass, actually. But since they since they added it into the default multiplayer, I was like, okay, we'll give it to we'll give it to guys on our server too. <laughs> so it's one of the things I added in to the uh, start loadout. Forty-six. Realistically, mining is a lot faster now. The system is faster. You don't use up as much fuel, it seems. You get higher return with your fuel. So, I'm okay with it. It's not as easy to deal with with the Tier 1 hover drill, but... Eh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm gonna need food soon. So I'm gonna have to find another POI, I think, to raid. <laughs> or kill some critters. Level up. Yeah, I need to level to four, I believe, to make a hover vessel mobile constructor. I need level three. Okay. So I need to take a generator. And I'll be able to take Gatling guns so that my base can actually make Gatling guns and, and ammo for this thing, too. So I need to level up. Go back finish off the, the base walls. I should get enough with all the stone I've dug up. Yeah. Finish the tower so that we can kill the drones. So I'm wondering there's so many days before drones come and attack my base even before I power it up. Not really sure.
not really sure what the mechanics are. From what I've read, it's, it's staged based on what you put into your base. So, like, apparently if you just put, like, a platform down, you might not ever get drone attacks. They might never trigger. So you could, like, spawn whatever you want on that, on that pad. But as soon as you put a, a generator down, I think it initiates the first phase of their attacks. And I think they hit you with two waves if you don't have any defenses. And then they stop attacking, I believe. Anyway, that's kind of what I read. And if you put a turret on, then it just creates unlimited attacks, so unlimited waves. Well, we almost got this entire... I just wanted to show you how quick it was to mine out an entire deposit now. With a T1 drill. Get there almost. Another reason why I want to mine it right out is so that it can potentially trigger meteorites falling if I mine out enough of these deposits. And meteorites are actually easier to mine. <laughs> They're just right on the surface, you can just stand on them and not have to move at all. I actually like meteorites, they're just super easy. Okay, so what are we missing here up there? Okay. Oh, did I just break on through to the other side? Yeah. Uh, I think I got it all. I think it disappeared from my uh, map too. It did. Yeah. Okay. So let's just despawn the drone and we'll just jump back in. So what was our... We ended up with... Wow. Yeah, like 12, t almost 1300 silicone. And that was not that long to mine that out. So there you have it. Um, nope, I gotta turn my thruster and all my engines back on. There we go. There we go. And I don't see anything. Well, there's fiber. I can jump out and pick fiber, I guess. fibers here and there looks safe enough okay so let's get our gun we'll do our light we'll jump out of here come on just want to stand on the ridge there we go Okay, and now I can't really see anything. <laughs> Did it just get that dark right now? That's funny. That's just funny. There it is. And then, usually right beside these 
tree tuft, these tufts of trees. There's one, a fiber. I can't see it now, it got dark. <laughs> now they're freaking camouflaged. And there's... Oh, there's a bad... There's a bad raptor. Shit. Run away. Yeah, I'm not dealing with bad raptors. They like summon their entire clan with their screaming and they're super fast. They're like one of the nastiest. Oh, and there was a, I just jumped in in time. Hey, 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 dude, I'll come kill you later. Okay, well, you know what? I, I really need some iron, too. So I think we're going to call this the end of the episode. You saw me build a quick base. I went and spawned my HV, picked up some silicone. And I'm going to get the Sioux. Maybe not that iron. <laughs> right? Right? Am I going to get too close? Am I going to get too close? One shot from that thing, am I dead? Uh, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I'm not going to. <laughs> so I'm going to find a different iron. I know there was one back at the uh, admin destroyed uh, whatever it was destroyed whatever <laughs> I can't remember now so I can head back there and oh let's pick up these corn dogs really quick I don't see any critters I don't see any critters okay so let's sink this down okay and then we'll just jump out really quick get this stuff you know what I'm gonna run over here get these pixie stalks so there was a bunch of stuff with them corn dogs and really a little oh shit uh, run 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 it screw you buddy Minus item. Oh, his head is right there, though. That's not good. Is he gonna? You know what? I'll just uh, I'll just talk him in a cockpit, and he'll get bored of me. <laughs> yeah, that was that was close. That was close. <sighs> okay, that got my adrenaline going. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of them out. So, okay, now that there's baddies out, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how effective this stupid little box is that I'm in. So, here I am, out in the middle of nowhere, with all these critters about. I can hit F to jump out, and then I'll just get stuck great really okay let's jump back in then okay <sighs> I'm not sure why it was why I got stuck I don't see how I could have got stuck there's nothing to get stuck on again bugs bugs this is an alpha so we're gonna experience bugs 
and I think it's because it it jumped me out and I was stuck in side the vessel let's try this again so I jump out and there we go now I can jump out now I jump and I'm landing inside okay yeah I think it just kind of bugged me a bit and I was stuck inside the vehicle you know what bugs happen bugs happen a lot <laughs> but not as bad as some other alphas that I've tried, that's for sure. So, what the heck is that? What is that? It's got protection, but it doesn't have a, it's a POI, a civilian POI. <gasps> oh, it must be that new one that, that like, Vehicle port, or not vehicle port, but something like that, like, uh, huh. We're going to have to come back there later. Let's see where that is on the map. Yeah, there's too many drones there. I'm not going to deal with that. That's three of them. I don't have the ammo or the defenses to deal with that, plus critters running around. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Whole bunch of nope. And uh, I haven't unlocked fourth yet. I need fourth level. I need fourth level. So let's. I'm just going to go around and smash a bunch of rocks right now. So <clears throat> I think this will be a good spot to stop. And next episode, I'm going to be uh, throwing some guns on this thing and going out and killing stuff because right now I've just got a bunch of corn dogs to keep me fed and some canned meat I still got my emergency rations but literally I only want to use those in an emergency so we'll eat those corn dogs for now at least we're not going to starve and I'm going to smash some rocks so guys uh, that was fun if you guys uh, like the episode please like and subscribe and next time we will go out adventuring a little bit more with some guns some bigger guns okay guys you guys have an awesome day